Here we go, Christmas time. Ooh, what do we got in here? backyard with all my Dodge junk parts. We have the red frame. We're going to go ahead and power wash it, clean it up. Then I'm going to throw clear coat over it so we can seal up that nice International Harvester red coat that we have under there. We're going to go ahead and pull the cabs. We have a lot going on, but uh, we have to rescue this thing sort of in a mud puddle back here. We're going to use the tractor. She's going to push. There's no steering shaft connected to it right now. No steering gearbox. So I'm going to attempt to turn these wheels manually as she's pushing, but we have a height, guys, because we had to go completely around our property. So, yeah, let's do this. Well guys, this is our first time actually using the hoist. This is awesome. Pulling cabs are going to be so easy. And also, when I get that LMM on there, my newer Duramax, we're going to be pulling the cab on that one as well. So I'm really pumped about that. Here we go. The Cummins build starts now. Let's talk about this really quick. This thing is disgusting. It's been sitting outside for about a month, month and a half now. It's all dirty. So I'm actually going to go ahead and power wash it. And one thing that I didn't do, guys, I didn't clear coat it. I'm going to go ahead and touch up a few spots that I missed, you know, some of the red. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and let it dry and just clear coat the whole frame so it's nice and shiny and glossy. And also it's going to protect that nice color. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get into it. Man, I am so excited. I'm so pumped. Well, first of all, because this is our very first time doing any real work in the shop with the hoist and all that. But second, right here guys, Miller Engines. Today's video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys basically everything that I have here for the Cummins build. And we're going to go ahead and unbox this bad boy right here. I think you're really gonna love what we have in store for this truck. I purchased this second gen 1999 Dodge Cummins from my brother, my brother-in-law. He's had it for many years. This was uh, actually a truck that he purchased when I came back from Afghanistan. I purchased a LMM Duramax and then he got this one right here. But sort of an interesting story here, he purchased a 0659 Cummins, so the common rail. The one above this one, which is a 24 valve and he lost interest in this truck right here. This thing used to have two turbos in it, built trans, pretty fast ride. I think it hit close to 600 horsepower, but he removed the turbos and it sat in a parking lot for, I, I don't know, a long, a very long time, just sitting there rusting, rotting away. So I then purchased it from him, decided to keep this gal in the family, and here we are today. I went ahead and tore it all the way down completely to nothing, as you can see the frame. And then of course I tore down the engine and then I decided to send it to the professionals at Miller Engines in Pennsylvania. You guys are pretty awesome. The owner there, his name is Matt. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and introduce him in this video as well. He explained sort of what he's done to the engine, but I haven't unboxed it yet, so I have no idea what it looks like. We laid down a coat of primer over the entire frame. So now she's nice and shiny. She looks good. See that? Not 100% sure on the wheel and tire setup. On top of that, we're doing a sort of a show truck sort of feel on this truck as well because obviously we have it torn down to the frame so why not make it colorful and awesome and neat um, also i'd like to hit maybe a thousand horsepower maybe a little more not too sure but we have the engine built for that rating anyway so we should have no problem hitting well over a thousand horsepower i think the coolest thing that's going to add a lot of character to this 
truck right here, this Cummins, is the fact that we are gonna be doing a dump bed on this. So I want you guys to follow along and stay tuned and subscribe, man, because this build's gonna be insane once we're completely done with it. As you guys watch the channel, you're gonna be sticking along for the journey as we put this together, and you guys can watch it with me. Here we go, Christmas time. Ooh, what do we got in here? All right, oh, it's saran wrap. We gotta get all this out of here. I gotta say, those guys did a phenomenal job at packing this thing. Looks like I have my old SFI billet flex plate laying in there, which we're not gonna need. I actually have a brand new one. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this out of the box. This is exciting. guys as you can see I just placed the engine on the frame for the first time this is actually considered a built Cummins engine which is awesome I'm not sure if you missed this video here but what you're looking at here is a 47 RE that came out of this 99 Cummins All the upgraded billet internals are from Garen transmissions the triple disc torque converter which is right here guys check this out this bad boy right here is gonna be crucial to what we got going on in this build now another awesome thing that we did at Kodiak truck when Mark built this transmission we installed a Sonics, which came from the Garen's website as well. Installed a Sonics valve body, which is calibrated to this transmission specifically. It's custom. I'm talking this valve body was actually dynoed. Hey, if you guys get really bored and you want to learn how to rebuild a 47 RE, definitely check out that video I posted. It was about a month ago and Mark just did a tremendous job. And then of course Kodiak Truck built the transfer case as well, so huge shout out to those guys. I really do appreciate them for all their support. To be quite honest with you guys, this build wouldn't even happen if it wasn't for those guys over there. But look at the theme that we have going for. We have red, white, you see where I'm getting at? I believe that's a Ford Blue. Actually all these parts are brand new. These are the V2 Monotube Rough Country Shocks. I can't wait to install those. I've heard some really good stuff about it. Now one thing I didn't share with you guys, and I don't even know why I'm sharing it with you. I think some of you guys called me out, but they're way too short. I actually pushed this down a little bit to put these on. So um, I figured this was a stock height truck, but apparently not. I called the guys at Rough Country and I ordered shocks with a little bit more travel. And also I ordered the upgraded ones. I heard they ride like a cloud, so I, I want to try them out. And then also I decided to keep with the same theme. My brother-in-law did it. I installed a 6.0 transmission cooler. So this is exactly what I did. I went and purchased a brand new one from Mishimoto. I heard really good stuff about them, so I'm gonna run that. So all right guys, let's go ahead and get into the fun stuff here. Now remember guys, we are doing two turbos. So we're doing two RDS turbos. We're gonna be doing an S300 and an S400. Think about it, a built trans, two turbos. We're also doing a P-pump conversion. If you're a Duramax guy, this is probably a completely different language. I'm a Duramax guy and I'm learning this stuff, so bear with me, but this is a P-pump conversion. It's actually the Crazy Carl's Turbo Kit. And what this does is it eliminates the VP44, which is the fuel injection system that they have on the 24 valves that comes stock. Instead, what I'm doing is I'm installing a 12 valve, so a first generation Cummins diesel injection pump on a second generation 24 valve Cummins. So we are going to essentially use the old school fuel injection pump for a newer style Cummins. That's kind of the goal. Now the good thing about this is we are going to be dumping fuel. It's all mechanically controlled instead of electronically. But this is actually a conversion kit. And let me show you what we did here to the front of the engine. This is a 12 valve timing cover right here, not a 24 valve timing cover. And the gear from the P-Pump is going to be making contact with the cam. This is definitely the best route in my opinion when making the most power out of a 24 valve. It's just going with a P-Pump conversion kit. And as you guys can see, you're probably already looking up here. What we did is we bored these out 20 over. So essentially it's very close to a 6.0 Cummins because it was a 5.9. So we bored those out. We did billet freeze plugs right there. We also did a fleece coolant bypass kit as well. So we also went with the Molly pistons. These are actually thermal coated. The mains getting resized with some ARP main studs. So it's gonna give us better clamp load. It's gonna hold it a lot better, especially when we're throwing a lot of power at this thing. Also requested the billet tappets. One good thing about Matt there, he definitely gave me a lot of advice on what to do as far as what I'm going for with my goals. 
And then, I don't know if I showed this to you guys yet, but this is my billet tappet cover. I gotta clean it up. This is gonna look pretty sweet on the engine right here once it's actually installed. One more thing I'd like to mention, which I'm really, really pumped about. I went ahead and pulled out the old cam, sent it to him, you know, for a core. He installed a Colt cam. Now this is the stage four, it's called a big stick. It's a camshaft. From my understanding, this cam right here is going to handle some power. But essentially what you're looking at here, guys, is a built bottom end. So we are good to go. But let's go ahead and hear what Matt has to say about the build and what he's actually done to this thing. Because there's a lot more that I actually didn't explain in this video. So take it away, Matt. And I wanted to share with you guys some things we did on Josh's 5.9 Cummins build. We're running a Molly cast drop-in piston, which is 20 thou oversized. So what we do is boring torque plate on the block oversized for these pistons. We also upgrade these pistons with a thermal barrier coating, which helps keep that heat in the combustion chamber. We line home the block with ARP main studs. What tends to happen when you add extra clamping force with these studs or bolts, it'll actually distort the housing board a little bit. So what we would do is cut the caps and then open up the, we'll go through with the line hone and open them back up to the right size uh, where it should be for adequate oil clearance. We went with a cool stage four cam, which is drop in. It doesn't require any valve release. And it is billet. We got the billet tappets. And then on the front of this, we got a cold bolt on retainer plate, which helps keep that gear on the end of the cam. We're, if you like this combo, we're going to plan on adding it to the website. So bear with us. Check the site out, millerengines.com. You can go on there, select the exact same combo, um, or make changes to the bill. Like if you want to upgrade connecting rods or different style cam, we can do that on there. Or if it's not exactly what you want, well, you can even give us a call and we'll put together a perfect combo for whatever your application is, whether it's for a truck you're running in, street truck, pulling truck, or even something you're possibly swapping the engine into. But that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Give me some suggestions. I know we have the engine, the transmission, the transfer case, all the good stuff is already done. Give me some other suggestions on what I should do with this truck while I have everything apart. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and plug away and get all this stuff installed. I have a lot of parts to clean still. I've been kind of procrastinating a little bit, but hey, I haven't had a shop to work in in probably about four weeks. Sure you guys have picked up on this, but I leave like the engine, transmission, driveline stuff up to the subject matter experts that have the correct tools, have the honing capabilities in order to do that stuff. I'm going to just put the truck together and hopefully we can turn this key very soon. But that's it for this video today. You guys are so awesome. Make sure you subscribe. Again, load up those comments. Let me know what you think about this build. I am so pumped. We'll see you on the next video. Stay tuned.